Is your Android phone giving you the silent treatment? Well, fear not, I've got 10 foolproof ways to bring your Android sound back to life. And trust me, these aren't just your run of the mill, turn it off and on again tricks. We're diving deep into the Android ecosystem to tackle everything from sneaky software glitches to stubborn hardware issues. So make sure to stick around. First things first, let's make sure your phone isn't just muted. It sounds obvious, but you'd be surprised how often this is the culprit. Press either volume button on your phone. You'll see a volume slider pop up on your screen. Now look for a three dot menu icon above the slider, tap it. You'll see different volume controls. Look for the one with a music note icon. That's your media volume. If it's at zero, slide it up and test your sound again. Or sometimes the problem isn't your phone, it's the app you're using. So let's toggle the video volume in apps. Open an app like Instagram or Facebook and play a video. Look for a speaker or microphone icon in the corner of the video. If it's crossed out, tap it to unmute. For YouTube specifically, check your settings. Go to settings, then data saving, and make sure muted playback and feeds over Wi-Fi only is turned off. Now, if that uh, didn't do the trick, don't worry. We're just getting started. Do not disturb is great for meetings, but not so great when you forget to turn it off. Swipe down from the top of your screen to open the quick settings panel. Look for an icon that looks like a minus sign in a circle. That's do not disturb. Can't find it? Open your settings app and search for do not disturb. If it's on, usually indicated by a blue or highlighted icon, tap it to turn it off. Still no luck? Well, your phone might be connected to a Bluetooth device you've forgotten about. Swipe down to open your quick settings again. Find the Bluetooth icon and long press it. You'll see a list of connected devices. Tap on any audio devices to disconnect them. Or you can just turn Bluetooth off completely and see if that solves your problem. If not, a dirty headphone jack can trick your phone into thinking headphones are plugged in. So let's do a bit of spring cleaning. Safety first, turn off your phone. Use a Q-tip with most of the cotton removed. Gently insert it, give it a twist, and pull out any gunk you find. Just be careful not to damage anything inside. But your phone's tiny speaker holes can also easily get clogged with dust and debris, so let's clean them up. First, you can do some manual cleaning. Remove surface dirt by using the cotton swab to wipe in and around the speaker holes until the swab comes back clean. Then take a toothbrush and gently scrub in and around the holes. Finally, use a can of compressed air to blow out any loosened particles, or you can do it manually. For good measure, you can also try a speaker cleaning app. Download an app like Speaker Cleaner from the Play Store. These apps use sound waves to vibrate and dislodge particles from your speaker. Follow the app's instructions, usually involving playing a tone at max volume, and you're good to go. If that fixed the problem, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and let us know in the comments below. But if not, it's time to dig a little deeper. First, let's clear away any bugs or corrupted data on your Android phone. Don't let the techie name scare you off. This is easier than it sounds, I promise. Turn off your phone. Press and hold the power and volume up button simultaneously until you see the Android recovery menu. Use the volume buttons to navigate to wipe cache partition and press the power button to select it. Confirm your choice and wait for the process to complete. Select reboot system now to restart your phone. Still no sound, time to put your phone in timeout and see how it behaves. Safe mode disables all third party apps helping you identify if an app is causing your sound issues. To do this, press and hold the power button until you see the power off option. Tap and hold power off until you see a prompt to reboot in safe mode. Tap safe mode. If your sound works in safe mode, an app is likely the culprit. Start uninstalling recently installed apps to find the troublemaker. If safe mode didn't save the day, it's time for drastic measures. I know, I know, it's the nuclear option, but sometimes you've gotta go big or go home. First, make sure you've backed up all your data first. Go to settings, Google, manage backup, and tap backup now. Then in settings, choose general management. Select reset, then factory data reset. Choose to reset and wait for your phone to restart and be back to its factory settings. Did this guide help you? Let us know which fix worked for you in the comments below. For more tips, check out our guide in the link in the description.